So if you see me going in the store three, four times, you know who I am. You know what I do. You know my vice. You know my problems. You know I'm obsessed with Sephora. Leave me alone. I don't want to hear your judgment. Hey Gems, it's your girl Miss Jamima and we are back at it again with another video. So today we are going to be recording, oh. So today we are going to be recording my Sephora recommendations video, but this time we're gonna do something a little different. In the past, I would give you guys recommendations based on the products that I love and use um, and abuse really from like my extensive shopping experiences at Sephora my obsession with Sephora but because a lot of my favorites stay my favorites regularly throughout the year so you guys have seen them you've heard them like I can only repeat the same video so many times okay so I figured this time I would do something different this year I'm going to be doing recommendations based off the products that I have in my cart that I want to try for the very first time ever so I'm gonna tell you guys why I want to try them and um if you're interested, I will have the links for them down below. Oh, and Sephora sale, hold on. The Sephora savings event starts on April 5th. And that is for the Rouge members of the rewards program that they have. Um, so there's Insider, there's VIP, and there's Rouge. Rouge is a top tier. I think you have to spend $1,000 in the calendar year for you to, to hit Rouge. And the sale starts on the 5th for them, us. I'm in it too. Yikes. Um, so yeah, 20% off for Rouge starting on the 5th. Then VIB, which is the middle tier, comes in on the 9th. And they get 15%. And then Insider, anyone that first creates their account comes in as Insider. You get 10% off of everything starting on the 9th as well. Oh, it is starting on the 9th. Oh, period. So the sale ends on the 15th. So Rouge starts on the 5th. VIB and Insider starts on the 9th. Now Sephora Collection is 30% off across the entire Sephora brand um, and that starts on the 5th through the 15th so no matter if you're insider VIB Rouge whatever it's 30% off for everybody and Sephora collection has really stepped up their products this year so I would definitely encourage you to check out their products to see if there's anything there that you know catches your eye the um is it the better than skin collection the foundation the concealers are really good um do I have any right here I said I was gonna do this didn't I didn't I just say that I was gonna do this but it's 30% off. Like, I feel like I'm obligated. Um, the concealer's really good. I used their eyebrow pencils. Where did... Oh, now all of a sudden I can't find any. That's crazy. Yep, Sephora retractable brow pencil. Waterproof. I love these. I buy these in stock every sale. The foundation, the best skin ever. That's what it is. And their concealers. It's also the best skin ever concealer. Like, I think these are the best complexion products from Sephora. Personally. You know, not that anybody asked me. Um, there's more too, but anyways, that's not what this video is about. This video is about my cart, okay? Um, wow. Okay, so let's start the video for real this time. I guess that was like a, a mini start, a baby start. Baby shark. Do 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 do. Jimmy, my don't don't do, don't do, don't. Okay, let's let's get started. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. The chaos that is this video. <sighs> <laughs> Oh, by the way, if anyone is curious, I am wearing Night Moth lip liner from MAC and the Maybelline Lifter Gloss in the shade Taffy. Shade that Laffy Taffy. That Laffy Taffy. Girl, say that Laffy Taffy. Yeah, that Laffy Taffy. Girl, say that Laffy Taffy. Ah! <laughs> I cracked myself up. <laughs> So these are things I'm thinking about. I'm, I haven't decided yet if I'm gonna get everything because my car is quite expensive. I don't even wanna talk about it, but these are things that I'm thinking about getting, okay? Some of these I know for sure I'm getting, but you know, we'll get into it. Give me two per, cause I need two per so I can get the stomping in my Air Force One, big boy. Stomping in my Air Force One. Okay, so first things first. Um, the Rare Beauty blushes that just came out. So they have these soft pinch luminous powder blushes. Oh, and you guys know I live for a glowy cheek. So when you have blush pigmentation, 
and highlighter blush topper mixed together as one i have to get it <laughs> um so the shade that i want in particular is a shade love there is another shade called truth that i was eyeballing but i said for me to to first try out this product see how it works on the skin see how the longevity is i'm gonna try this one color and it's a, a mix between like a copper rusty shade it's called love and i'm absolutely in love i'm obsessed um and i can't wait to try it so like i said it just came out by selena gomez rare beauty um i was eyeballing their liquid blushes i've never tried them i know they were like the rage at one point but a lot of the shades weren't actually brown skin friendly so that deterred me from actually trying out for myself and honestly now that i have the elf blushes i'm just like do i really need it if i get froggy i might leap and get love as a liquid blush and do that and then put the the love blush powder blush on top i just know that's going to be stunning but I feel like I can create that with things that I have now. So I'm just going to get the powder one for now. Um, I also saw the Sephora collection. Hello, 30%. Do you hear that? Yeah, cha-ching. Saving money. Girl math. Um, ah, I lost the page. The Sephora collection Sephora powder luminizer. So it's these... Are these new? I don't think I've actually seen these before. Maybe they're not new. But I'm going to get the shade Blinding Bronze. I think it'll be a beautiful highlighter. Do I need another highlighter in my collection? absolutely not especially since i don't use 75 percent what i have now um i'm in an era of using very particular um formulas of highlighter whereas um before your girl was a highlighter junkie and was using shimmer glimmer glitter like all kinds of things and they were beautiful i'm just not in that era right now so one thing about trends and and how you view things is that things are very cyclical so i don't want to get rid of them and then in two weeks i'm like oh never mind i missed the glitter and i go back to my chunky glitter highlighters you know so they're still here for now but when i'm ready to purge i'll be ready to purge but yeah so i feel like that'll be a, a nice addition to my collection and especially because i'm looking for a thin um compact travel friendly highlighter that matches the vibe of my current favorite highlighters right now so that i can take it with me on the go and i'm feeling like this might be the one it's 14 dollars plus 30 percent off so where's the risk you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying um house labs came out with a plumping gloss and they didn't call me i did not get a call from lady gaga saying hey new lip alert because why wouldn't you do that you know i'm obsessed and i really enjoy house lab products so yeah i'm excited to try one of these i got permission in another color but i just love a pinky lip i'm in a pinky thing now first it was like peach no first it was beige then it was peach now i'm in my pink phase um so i can't wait to try those out to see how they work out i also got the shade macaroon um, but yeah, so I will be trying the Lip Glaze Plumping Gloss by Lady Gaga House Labs. Next on the list is Josie Moran. Moran? Oh, this video is so embarrassing. <laughs> but um, I mean, I, I heard that she came out with like new body products a little bit a little bit ago like it wasn't too too long but i did hear about it and i looked online i was, I was de deceiving so i was like do we not have these at my logo sephora it's like how come i'm hearing about it but i don't see it so they came out with different sizes but the one that i want is the one that's in the jar let me get the jar first and then if i love it i'll get a refillable like why are you only showing me the big refillable squeeze packs i was very confused like where are the products that i'm seeing i'm not seeing it on the app but the app is showing the big squeeze bottles whatever and um she's really like vamped up revamped her her body products i've tried like a, a butter or two um and i think when i tried them i was very much in my fenty phase and so i couldn't appreciate what i was receiving because i was like if it's not giving me fenty butter thickness like what are you even doing um but i do love that she's also expanded like the scent range um so i'm getting vanilla vibes it has three Z's on it. And I'm also getting Bohemian Fig. And they have Argan Oil. Um, why do I have two scrubs on here? One should be a butter. Okay. I'm going to have to make modifications to this list. But yeah, so I'm getting a body butter. And, oh, these are two. I'm tripping. One is vanilla, one is Bohemian. Jamima, get it together. Why is this video so embarrassing? Oh my God. Okay. So I'm getting the scrub and the body butter of the Vanilla Vibes and the Bohemian Fig. So I will definitely keep you guys updated on that and how I like it. 
I'm really hoping that the smell is really fragrant because you guys know I love to smell good and layer. So like the fig and the vanilla, I feel like I'm really gonna enjoy those. Like I'm really gonna enjoy those. Next, I really have plans to really delve into K um, skin products. I have one of their glosses. This is the K Skin Sun Care Isle Lip Balm SPF 30. And I really like this because for one, it's a lip balm with SPF, so it's great for summertime. But I also like the color, and I, I really enjoyed the formula, surprisingly, because I've tried Aquaphor, I think. It's Aquaphor when I had a lip balm with SPF in it. And I tried something else. Uh, somebody, and it's actually really good. Do I still have it? I'm pretty sure the one I have now is expired. Like, I need to get a new one. What brand? Ugh. I don't remember what brand has the lip balm with SPF in it, but it's actually really good. It's drugstore, um, but I'm pretty sure I had to buy mine on Amazon or something, but it's really good. But anyways, now that I have K-Skin, I guess I don't have to remember it because she's been replaced. But they also have new colors. Well, I don't know if they're new or they're just new to me. I just never noticed them, but they have like different colors. So I'm going to be getting more of those colors. I can't wait. <laughs> I'm also going to be trying their sunscreen, like their body sunscreen products. Um, they have a body mist that's SPF 50. I feel like a mist is so like fun to use, you know? It's perfect for me to like throw it in my bag and take with me to the beach, to the pool, whatever. Like who doesn't want to be sitting on a, on a, a pool chair just shh, you know? Glistening, body glistening, you give a little show, you like, mm, you know? I just feel like body sprays and spritz and stuff like that and oils are so fun to apply. It's like you need a protection anyway, so you might as well enjoy it, right? So I'm getting the mist. I'm also getting the, um, I'm getting the lotion. I am trying to wear SPF lotion just on a regular basis, just going out and about, especially since I'm using skincare products that do have acids in them. I tend to neglect my skin, I do, and I need to work on that. And this one has, is, is catching my eye because SPF, SPF 45 was sea moss and cocoa seed butter. And it says glow body lotion. So like I'm gonna put it on the skin and the skin gonna look silky. I may not necessarily want like oils and stuff at that time. You know, if I'm just going running to the store or whatever, want to slather something on my arm, I feel like this will be perfect for that. So I can't wait to try that. I also hope that it's scented and not like sunscreen smelling, but like good fragrant lotion smelling, you know? And that's another deterrent. I don't want to smell like sunscreen if I'm not on the beach. If I'm on the beach, you know, it's whatever. It's the vibes. But when I'm out and about, I just want the protection. I don't want the, the extra razzle dazzle that comes with the chemicals of the sunscreen, okay? I ain't asked for that. Speaking of sunscreen, Sol de Janeiro came out with another body spray, SPF 50 with niacinamide. You guys know how I feel about body care that has skincare properties. And I, 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 I say skincare as if your body isn't skin, but, but when I say skincare, it's because you know like, when we talk about skincare, we're talking about treatments and the hydrating and all the things that we use on our skin, on our face. So technically skincare is all encompassing of body and face and all that stuff, but you know what I'm saying. You know what that mean. It don't mean what it mean, but you know what I mean. Okay, that's what matters most. Um, yeah, so Sol de Janeiro came out with one and I'm like, ooh, baby, it's giving, do I get K-Skin or Sol de Janeiro? Cause one thing about Sol de Janeiro, it's gonna smell delicious, like, it's gonna smell delightful. I'm a stand for Sol de Janeiro. Are they perfect? No. But do they smell good? Do they get the fragrances down pat? Absolutely. So I feel like that's gonna be a winner. And you guys have seen me use, I have their original um, oil, body oil spray, whatever, and I actually use it as like regular oil sometimes. So I cannot wait to try out this new formula. I don't know if it's a new formula. I think so though, because the, the one I had doesn't have niacinamide in it. Um, yeah, so they have a shimmering, shimmering body oil sunscreen, SPF 50, and they have the body spray with the niacinamide. I cannot freaking wait. Now, I don't love this packaging as much as I love the original. The original was like, it was see-through. It looks like the bum bum cream. Do I have it here? It's, it's the same vibe as like the firming oil. Hold on, let me show y'all. Is it in my, it might be in my travel bag. So the bottle is like this color and I like that you can see the product through it. You can see the shimmers and all that. Um, and with this current bottle, you can't see through it. So I don't love that aspect. Um, I feel like this, this, 
this packaging looks more childish to me but it don't matter because they they're they gonna get wow they're gonna get my coins either way they're gonna get my coins either way they're gonna get my coins either way dang i think i just made up my mind y'all i think i just made up my mind i can't go through a sephora sale and not get nothing sort of janeiro solid janeiro i gotta get the solid janeiro i gotta get the solid janeiro oh and i hope it's not disappointing i really hope it's not I really hope it's not. Now, should I be playing around with skincare right now? I probably shouldn't because I really, I really do love the routine that I have now. But there is one that caught my eye. It's called Edom, I believe, from the brand Edom, and it's the Cashmere Peel Gentle AHA and PHA Exfoliating Toner with 9% Lactic, Azelaic, and Trinexamic Acids. Ciao. It's me struggling, but I really want to try this toner because y'all know I love the acids. I love all the things that keeps away the dead skin, well, that gets rid of the dead skin, sorry. And it just really just evens out your skin tone, makes you look brighter and just healthier and sweeter and just refresher. Yeah, I said it. Refresher, which is more than regular refreshed. You're a refresher. <laughs> so I'm really hoping that I'm going to enjoy this. I'm going to cashmere peel. Doesn't that sound like... Mmm, that's nice. A cashmere peel? Come on, come on. And compared to some of my other products, it's not terrible. Okay, the price is not terrible. It says it's good for uneven skin, has AHA, glycolic acids. What else do y'all have? You got to have the whole entire skincare book. Y'all heard all the uh, acids? I was struggling. The unique formula instantly boosts skin's natural glow and enhances the effectiveness of active ingredients i love that okay if you have pores large pores dullness hello and uneven texture hello yeah use this product y'all got me y'all got me as rice water and colloidal oatmeal delivers hydration and nourishment for a zooey soft glow what can i get this in full body size like hello Panthenol helps to, the skin barrier to retain moisture for plump and bouncy looking skin. This sounds like everything I could possibly want in a bottle. And you guys know I'm obsessed with my pill pads, but for some reason in the back of my mind, I'm still like searching and hunting for a one-stop shop simple serum that can use that matches the vibes of the pill pads. Like I love the pill pads, what they do for my skin. I do, I do. But baby, I be, I'm not always in the mood to do a two-step peel process. Then you got to apply until the, the pot is wet. Then you got to wait, wait two minutes, let it dry. Who? I don't always got time for that. Sometimes I just want to slap a little something, bop, bop, bop on my face, throw on moisturizer, and go to bed. Like, sometimes I, I will make it. I have time for a 15-step process that takes me 45 minutes. But some days... I'm not making it. The self-care for me that day is to do the bare minimum, but I still want maximum effectiveness, maximum skin benefits, okay? So I'm really hoping that this, this gonna do what I need to do. Ooh, it's a milky exfoliant, so it's gonna exfoliate and hydrate. Yes, strikes the right balance between safe yet effective exfoliation and barrier support with fast fade complex of 9% acids, soothing rice water, and colloidal oatmeal. I cannot wait to get my hands on this. Yeah. Now, you guys know I love my Necessary Body Wash, and I think I'm, I'm ready to try something else from Sephora. So Salt and Stone, it's actually a brand I've never heard of before, but apparently people love them. Salt and Stone has body washes, they have fragrance mist, they have all these things, but I really wanna get my hands on the body wash, particularly in Bergamot. I don't know why I feel like it's gonna be comparable to necessary, but I'm gonna try and see what it's giving, honey. I cannot wait to get my hands on it. It was actually one of the maybes. I feel like this video is setting me up. It's talking me into the products and I'm trying to talk myself out. What is going on? This was not the plan. I'm trying to take things off my list. But the more, the more I talk about it, the more I'm just like, no, I have to get this. <laughs> but like, I love, love, love the smell of bergamot. Like whenever I see bergamot in anything, I'm grabbing it expeditiously. Um, so the fact that it's bergamot, it has nice cinnamide. Once again, I love anything that's gonna make my skin clear and chocolate and luscious. 
sign me up. Yes, I want it. Okay. So, dang, that's on the list. Why is T-Mobile texting me? Y'all want to text me about a bill. Why don't y'all text me about how y'all giving me money? Damn, leave me alone. Last but not least for fragrances, I actually had quite a few on my list, but I went into a Sephora store and smelled some so I can see like what it's giving. I don't want to say that I want something and then I come and tell y'all that. And then the second I get it, I'm just like, this is trash. So if I can avoid it, then I'm going to do that. So I had quite a few things on my list, but nothing really wowed me. I tried Tom Ford, Vanilla Fatal. I tried Seven Virtues, Amber, Vanilla. I tried Moon Dance. I, I'm not sure who that's by. Um, Amber Vanilla by Seven Virtues. It didn't really, it didn't wow me. It didn't stand out to me. Um, so that's something I would probably have to play around with and maybe revisit. And then like, we'll see like how I feel about it. Um, I did actually like the Tom Ford Vanilla Fatal. Uh, but that's not something I would wear now. So if I would consider getting it, I'd probably get it in the, at the fall Sephora savings event um, because that's more of a fall fragrance for me. It's not something I'd pull out now. So there's no point in spending my money on it now. I can spend my money on something else, okay? Moon Dance, I did enjoy it when I first sprayed it, but by the time it settled into the skin, I didn't really love it. And once again, it didn't wow me. Now, like I said, I have a habit of putting things down, not being wild in a moment, and I come back and I smell it. It's like I never smelled it before. I have a whole new opinion on it so like i said i'm gonna you know take some time check them out revisit i have from i have until the 15th to make up my mind and figure out what, what i'm gonna make shake okay but as of now um i have removed those from my list now the two that i have not smelled but are on my list i'm very curious about is the brown girl jane fragrance in casablanca sephora just started carrying them i've heard about them I've seen like mixed reviews, um, so I'm not really sure how I feel about it, but there's no way for me to try it until I try it, okay? I just have to take the plunge and try it, and I'll let y'all know how I feel about it. Um, so like I said, it is Black Girl Owned, um, Brown Girl Jane in Casablanca. They have other fragrances as well. I think I've seen them on Nordstrom or something. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna give them a try. And last but not least, Jackie Ina, Forever Mood came out with fragrances. They launched four fragrances, but only one is currently available on this very date I'm filming. And I think it's, it is it is her, it's her, something like that. So I don't know if the other three will be available before the start of the sale, which I really hope that they are. Um, and I was very surprised that the bottles were, I think 1.7 ounces and $75. That is very affordable for fragrances. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm like, that's damn near the cost of a candle. So I thought it was going to be 100, 200, even three. Three would have been pushing it. But I thought for like 150, some, $75, I'm, I'm shocked. I'm shocked. Okay. Um, and they all have different vibes completely across the board between the four. So I'm very much so looking forward to finally trying my hand. Like the girls were gagged when she made the announcement, but also like it makes so much sense. It makes so much sense, okay? So I cannot wait to finally try a Forever Mood fragrance. Um, and I'm really hoping that I can pick from the four on the day that the sale starts. So once again, the sale starts on the 5th for Rouge members. If you are VIB or Insider, then you start on the 9th and you have until the 15th to get your 10, 15, or 20% off. 30% if you're shopping Sephora sale. Um, Yeah, so if you see me, Going in the store three, four times, you know who I am. You know what I do. You know my vice. You know my problems. You know I'm obsessed with Sephora. Leave me alone. I don't want to hear your judgments. And I just, I don't want to hear your judgments. So that is it for today's video. Let me know if you guys are interested in this style because I can keep I can keep doing this, okay? But I just wanted to switch it up because all my favorites are my favorites. You guys know what I love. You guys know what I recommend. You guys can also watch past videos if you want more of an idea or if you're new here and have not seen a previous video. But check those out because I have some pretty great recommendations from Sephora that I buy on a regular basis. Y'all know Sephora is down near my second home at this point is giving a problem, okay? Uh, but that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you make good shopping choices. I hope you 
take this time if you can if it's in your budget child if it's not in your budget don't even stress it but if it's in your budget stock up on on the things that you use regularly on the moisturizers that you use regularly the, the face washes i was so mad because i forgot to get my face wash last time i had to buy it full price when i could have got it 20 percent off like that's crazy to me so you know people are like oh my god you got so much you got so much i use this to really like hone in and stock up on the things that i know for a fact i'm going to use throughout the year to save me money so it's like spending more to save more you know it sucks in the moment but listen i'd rather you take the l now and get my 20 percent off and know that i'm not gonna pay full price later on but that's just me and how i think girl math okay anyways that's it for today's video i will see you guys in the next one toodles <laughs>